Okay, Laravel just released a new infinite scroll component and it's pretty rad. Okay, let's check it out. So we have this page here. It's a, just showing a bunch of logs and there's 5,000 entries loaded. So as you scroll, it just goes on like forever, but you're loading that all up front. When you refresh the page, you have 5,000. It like takes a second. So obviously we should paginate this, right? So the first thing we'd probably reach to do is you just come over here and say paginate. Okay, so if we refresh, uh, we're gonna get an error because now that's nested in the data property, right? So let's come over here, fix this type real quick. We will also come over here and we'll fix the count. So now it's gonna be data. And now if we come over here, we'll say data. Okay, and now we're back. We've got 15 entries because that's what the page size is, right? But nothing's happening when we scroll. There's no load more, there's no anything. So how do we fix this? Well. The first step is to use the new inertia scroll method. And so what this does is it sets up all of the props that need to be sent over the client side about pending and prepending instead of uh, replacing that data all for you. And all you have to do is pass it uh, the pagination straight from Laravel. So if we refresh, we should still get the same results. But if we use the new infinite scroll component and we just wrap this loop infinite scroll and we tell it which data we're looking at. So we're looking at the entries and we come down here and we just wrap this. Well, immediately you can see down here, we have new entries and we have 30. And if we scroll, it just automatically starts paginating for us. That's it. We just made infinite scroll. That's it. And you get some bonus stuff too. So you'll notice that as we stop scrolling, it'll update the page URL. So you could actually bookmark this page and send it to somebody. And if you refresh, it'll be that page. And then you have two way infinite scrolling by default. So it's loading more entries as you scroll up and down. This is crazy. It's so easy. We just added like two lines of code and we have full bi-directional infinite scrolling. Uh, another thing I want to mention is we have a footer on this page, but now you can't see it anymore, right? So Sometimes you want to go into manual mode after a bit of infinite scrolling, and you can do that really easily here. So you could say manual after, and after you've loaded five pages, stop infinite scrolling, and we're going to pop into manual mode. So let's go back up here. We'll refresh the page. After it loads five pages, it'll stop. So now we've, we've seen the footer, but then how do you actually use manual mode? How do you load more pages in manual mode? Well, the infinite scroll actually provides some, some slots to you with some loading state. So if we do, I have this as a snippet because I didn't want to type it all out. But if you do this, you can tap into the previous. So this is where it would end up if you were scrolling up and the next, if you were scrolling down, right? And so we have state loading, fetch has more. You can say, if it has more, show a button and just fire fetch. You don't have to worry about what that's doing all set up for you behind the scenes. So now you can see we have this load more button and it just loads the next page, load more. And if we refresh and we go up five pages, now we have a load previous, right? This is all customizable. You can do whatever you want with this. It makes it so easy. So the new infinite scroll component is out right now. You can use it right now in your Inertia 2 apps. And we are excited to see what you do with it.